And in FISA, you've been learning more about the COVID-19 vaccines that many are desperately waiting for and others aren't so sure about. Yeah, Cynthia, and the rollouts are well underway in parts of the world, and we do know that there is light at the end of the tunnel, but we also know that there are uh, questions and concerns that people had. So earlier today, we posed the questions. We allowed people to ask what those questions and concerns were, and we brought that straight to an expert. One of the questions somebody asked us was, if they were to get the COVID-19 vaccine, uh, does that mean they could still get COVID-19 and spread it? Here's what our expert had to say. We don't know all the answers right now about each specific vaccine or, you know, still about how our immune system interacts with the COVID-19 virus. We, we certainly have good evidence from at least three trials, the two mRNA and the AstraZeneca one, that, that you know, it provides good protection. It's not just in theory that it makes antibodies, because we had that from phase two. Now at phase three, we know it does protect people. We don't really understand how well it protects people yet, whether it just means that everybody is going to get you know, less sick, whether it's going to be, you know, absolutely the case that people don't get it. Um, it I think it's reasonable to assume right now that um, all of the vaccines that are proven to be effective are going to either prevent you from getting ill or at the very least prevent you from getting very ill. And the less ill that you are, the less you're producing virus, the less likely you are to pass that on. We don't have the details exactly of that yet, and but I think we will within a couple of months. The vaccines that are being rolled out around the world here in Canada also, what are they going to do? You have somebody who's not had COVID-19 yet, you get one of these vaccines, your body mounts a an immune response to it after two doses, for the most part, as far as we know, one now, one in 21 days or, or in a month, um, you get a prime and then a boost, your body will fight off the virus if it were to come in contact with your body um, and in that way would protect you from getting the disease. Now, it is certainly possible, and this is what we, we might see, and is the case with some other viruses that, you know, there are certain situations in which you can get a milder form of the disease, but you'll not get as sick. And some of the vi vaccines thus far have showed not only do they protect people from getting it, but they also protect people from more severe disease. So even if people get it, they're not as likely to go into the ICU or go into the hospitals. And that really is equally important. About the time it took to make this, um, the vaccines, um, was it fast tracked, for example? The COVID vaccines have definitely been um, gone from idea to manufacturing and, and will be into people's arms much faster than the usual um, timeline for vaccines. But that is not because um, corners have been cut or you know, safety has been compromised. Um, what's happened is that you know, many of these conceptual ideas like mRNA, like adenovirus, um, have been worked on for you know, well over a decade, in some cases 20 years. And when the COVID virus came on, um, the, the researchers or the companies just took those ideas and said, you know, let's apply it to COVID-19. Um, and, and that made things an awful lot faster because they were going on platforms that were existing. And then also what happened was, you know, a huge amount of funding became available, which is often uh, a, a real difficult point for vaccine manufacture. And then most importantly, the clinical trials that had to be done, they didn't need to search for patients and wait for them. Uh, which is one of the big challenges in terms of timelines for vaccines. There were lots of COVID patients around, unfortunately. And when testing them, you know, you give placebo to one, you give the COVID vaccine to the other, and, you know, you've got your answer relatively quickly. And this conversation lasted about 30 minutes where we were able to ask some more questions to our expert, including a breakdown of the vaccines that were approved and how they differ. Now, to get to that extended interview, just take your cell phone camera, point it to the code at the bottom of the screen that will take you to our website, citynews.ca.